Hello everyone. Yeah, welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope you are all doing good. Yes, as you are all know, we already completed first six chapters in class 12. Today onwards, I am going to give a lecturing about the topic integration, one of the most important chapter. See, uh, we already did continuity and differentiability chapter 5, that is also for 20 marks. So, this is also a very important chapter for you people. See, uh, before going to give a definition about integration, first let us consider some examples. Uh, see, if I consider a linear equation as x minus 1 is equal to 5 and x plus 4 is equal to 7. See, what is the value of x here? x is equal to 5 plus 1. What is the value of x here? x is equal to 7 minus 4. See, uh, if I consider this minus sign transferred into the RHS, minus becomes what? Plus. If I consider this plus and can transfer, this, transfer this into the RHS, plus becomes what? Minus. See, uh, so, suppose if I consider a function f of x as y, x is equal to what? f inverse of y. This is the inverse function we already did in chapter 1. Uh, similarly, if I consider a trigonometric function, uh, suppose tan theta is equal to a, tan theta is equal to a, what is the value of theta here? It is tan inverse of a. This is trigonometric function, this is inverse trigonometric function. Similarly, if I consider a differentiation, derivative of the function x is equal to, what is the derivative of the function x with respect to x? This is equal to 1. Is it clear? See, here minus transferred to RHS, minus becomes plus. Plus transferred to RHS, plus becomes minus. F of x, this is the function of x is equal to y. What is the value of x? It is the inverse function. Similarly, if I consider the trigonometric function, if I transfer this trigonometric function to RHS, it becomes inverse trigonometric function. What about this? See, x is equal to, if I transfer this differentiation to RHS, if I transfer this differentiation to RHS, differentiation convert to integration of 1, what with respect to what? Into dx. See, this is derivative of x with respect to x. Integration of 1 with respect to x is nothing but this is the result. That is, what is the definition? It is a process of, it is a process of inverse of a differentiation. It is the process of inverse of a differentiation. This is called the integration. That is integration, integration, integration is a process of inverse of a differentiation. See, uh, we, are, we are all know derivative of sin x, derivative of sin x. What is derivative of sin x? We are all know cos x. Suppose, see, if I transfer this differentiation to RHS, see, sin x is equal to what? Integral of cos x. See, this is the result. Integral of cos x is sin x. If I convert this integration, transfer this integration to LHS, it becomes derivative. Derivative of sin x is cos x. See, uh, what is derivative of cos x? What is derivative of cos x? Derivative of cos x is minus sin x, right? So, if I transfer this derivative to RHS, see, minus integral of sin x into, with respect to what? dx. See, integral of sin x into dx, transfer this minus to this. Therefore, integration of sin x is minus cos x. In differentiation of cos x is minus sin x. See, this is the beauty of mathematics. Especially in differentiation and integration. It's just a inverse of Differentiation. Integration is a process of the inverse of differentiation. Is it clear all of you? See, these are the result. Um, similarly, we have some more result. Some more result in integration. See? And here, uh, we should note that another important point. See? Uh, see? Uh, if I consider 
the derivative of fi is equal to what zero derivative of 100 is equal to what zero why we, because we are all know derivative of constant function is equal to what zero derivative of any constant is equal to zero therefore c c is equal to if i transfer this to rhs differentiation becomes what integration zero into dx see please note down integration of zero into dx is c that's why if i consider integration of sin x integration of sin x with respect to x this is nothing but what minus cos x minus cos x plus c we should add c why see if i consider integration of x into dx integration of x into dx or integration of 1 into dx i already told you integra de derivative of x is 1 derivative of x is 1 therefore x is equal to what integral of 1 into dx integral of 1 into dx is what x 1 can be written as the integral of 1 into dx can be written as 1 plus 0 into dx see by algebra 1 into dx plus integral of 0 into dx any number added with 0 giving the that number giving a result as that number only see this as the result x plus integral of c see 0 is c so this is the rule whenever you see this is called the indefinite integral this is called whenever we are going to give a result of indefinite integral at the end we should add this c because what is the reason Inti differentiation of constant function is zero constant is equal to integral of zero into dx is it clear so at the end of the result you should add the constant c for every indefinite integral see uh, here we have two types indefinite integral and definite integral today i am going to give a lecturing about indefinite integral we will talk the definite integral later okay see uh, if i consider so these are the design uh, similarly if i consider derivative of x to the power of n derivative of x to the power of n is n into x to the power of n minus 1 n into x to the power of n minus 1 what about integration of n into x to the power of n minus 1 into dx see it is x to the power of n if i transfer this derivative sign to rhs it becomes integration since n is since n is constant we have integration of x to the power of n minus 1 into dx is x to the power of n if i replace if i replace n to n plus 1 if i replace n replace replace n to n plus 1 see x to the power of n plus 1 this is equal to n to n plus 1 integral of x to the power of n plus 1 minus 1 into dx plus 1 minus 1 get cancelled we are remaining with what x to the power of n into dx therefore see if i consider this to lhs then it becomes what because it is multiplication see it is multiplication integral of x to the power of n into dx is x to the power of n plus 1 into uh, divided by n plus 1 see this is the idea uh, if i consider a linear equation x plus y is equal to 5 uh, when when y is equal to 1 what is the value of x 5 minus y plus becomes minus 5 minus 1 is equal to 4 suppose if i have minus here minus becomes plus if I consider a function f of x is equal to y, what is x? It is f inverse y. See, uh, if I consider a is equal to b into c, what is the value of c? a by b is equal to c. If I transfer the multiplication of two numbers to LHS, multiplication becomes division. If I can, can transfer this b to RHS division becomes multiplication it is in new denominator then it becomes numerator it is minus it, if I transfer to RHS it becomes plus similarly if I transfer the differentiation function see derivative of some function is capital letter of f of x then what is f of x this is equal to integral of f of x into 
dx and we should remember whatever we are going to give a result for indefinite integral we should add the constant c at the end you should remember this okay so please note down the result please note down c please note down the result the first result is integral of x to the power of n into dx is x to the power of n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 plus c plus c integral of exponential to the power of exponential of x is exponential plus c why see differentiation of e to the power of x is e to the power of x if i convert this to rhs it becomes integration still it becomes e to the power of x only but we should add c because it is indefinite integral okay see so integral of uh, x to the power of n into dx is x to the power of n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 plus c uh, see here we should not n should not equal to minus 1 because integral of 1 by x into dx is log of modulus of x plus c why see differentiation of log x is differentiation of log x is 1 by x differentiation of log x is 1 by x what about log x if i convert this differentiation to rhs it becomes what integral 1 by x into dx plus c plus c log x plus c 1 by x into dx see here x should not be equal to 0 integral of 1 by x into dx is equal to log of mod x plus c integral of exponential function is exponential function plus c integral of x to the power of n is x to the power of n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 plus c uh, and what is integral of sin x i already told you integral of sin x is minus cos x but differentiation of sin x is plus cos x is it clear what is integral of cos x integration of cos x is sin x plus c but differentiation of cos x is minus sin x please remember this okay similarly uh, if i have c similarly integration of secant square x integration of secant square x is tan x plus c why see uh, if i consider derivative of tan x what is the result it is secant square x if I convert this to RHS, then it becomes integration with respect to x plus C, integration of sin x. Similarly, integration of cosecant square x into dx is minus cot x plus C. Because differentiation of cot x is minus cosecant square x. If I transfer LHS to RHS, it becomes integration. Integration of cosecant square x is minus cos x, cot x plus C. I hope you are all getting the idea how to get a results for integration. Is it clear how to get a results for integration? So this is the idea. It's just a process of inverse of a differentiation function. Inverse of a differentiation function. Please note down. Yes, after knowing some basic results of integration, let us move on to the properties of indefinite integral. See, uh, the first property says derivative of the integral function. Derivative of the integral function see uh, if i consider uh, a into a inverse in matrix if i consider the square matrix a a into inverse will give me what identity matrix suppose if i consider a into 1 by a it gives what 1 because this is in numerator this is in denominator multiplication of the division see this is a multiplication of the division of a 1 by a this gives what 1 similarly these are what inverse derivative for integration is the inverse of differentiation get cancelled remaining with what f of x uh, integral of k into f of x with respect to x gives what k into integral of f of x where k is what constant where k is constant where k is constant uh, uh, we, uh, we should take k outside okay integral of f1 of x we, if we have two function integral of the addition of those two function gives integral of the first function plus integral of the second function this is also holds good for minus also 
this is also old school for minus also this we are more than enough to remember to solve the problems on the indefinite integral let us move on to the one more problem the very very important this uh, this type of problem examiner like to ask for your annual examination see uh, these types are more than enough okay this is for one mark okay in part a sixth question will be this one okay yes what is integral of x to the power of 15 into dx we are all know integral of x to the power of n into dx is x to the power of n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 with the addition of the constant c therefore here n is equal to what 15 so it is x to the power of 15 plus 1 divided by 15 plus 1 plus c 15 plus 1 divided by 15 plus 1 plus c what is the result of 15 plus 1 it is x to the power of 16 divided by 16 plus c okay so this is the result very easy okay x to the power of minus 15 this this is nothing but x to the power of minus 15 plus 1 divided by minus 15 plus 1 plus c what is minus 15 plus 1 we need to subtract and we need to take a negative sign because larger number has the sign minus so x to the power of minus 14 divided by minus 14 plus c that's all then x to the power of 4 by 3 see same n is equal to 4 by 3 4 by 3 plus 1 divided by 4 by 3 plus 1 this gives what x to the power of see lcm is lcm is 3 then 4 plus 3 7 divided by 7 by 3 plus c don't forget to add c See, I already told you about this constant. Okay? Yes, x to the power of minus 5 by 4. x to the power of minus 5 by 4 plus 1 divided by minus 5 by 4 plus 1. This gives what? x to the power of, see, uh, here, LCM is 4 minus 5 plus 4 is minus 1 divided by minus 1 by 4 plus C plus C. Is it clear? Yes. Then, let us move on to this integral of 2x square plus ex. See, this is the one function. This is the polynomial function. This is e to the power of x is the other function. That's why I told you. e to the power of f1 of x plus or minus f2 of x. Here we have plus. Therefore, this can be written as what? 2 is constant. By considering this second property, k into f of x. Here, 2 into x square can be written as 2 into integral of x square, 2 into integral of x square into dx by using the third property, integral of is e to the power of x into dx. This gives what? 2 into x square is x cube by 3 plus e power x is e power x plus c. This is the result. Okay? Yes. Then we move on to integration of trigonometric functions. See, integration of sin x plus cos x into dx. It is of the form of f1 of x plus f2 of x. This can be written as integral of sin x into dx plus integral of cos x into dx. This is equal to what? Integral of sin x is minus cos x. Integral of cos x is sin x plus c. See, these are the very important problems uh, you, you may getting you will definitely getting this type of questions for your annual examination in part a for one more please go through it and uh, i added more questions in my notes which is available in my description part of my youtube channel please go through it okay so this is for one mark i hope you are all getting the idea of the integration what is integration it is the is just here process of inverse of the differentiation and we are we, are, we also noted some uh, basic results of integration using that result we did this okay please go through it thank you everyone i will meet you in the next class with the next important subtopic in integration thank you bye bye